when are you going to put all this back in place? I couldn't find this book where it was supposed to be and I had to go through almost all of my entire collection to get through there. And this and this that's what happened when I tried to find a book. Hardik, this has to be cleared up within two days. I finished reading this last night as I said I was going to be reading this one so this is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone and oh it's just so good I, I like legit I read about 150 pages last night and uh, today morning I woke up and the only thought that was in my mind was can I not read this again this is just so good and that's why I'm just gonna go and pick out Harry Potter number two Wait. I this is four. This is three. I gave five, six, seven away, so they won't be here. But where is two? The Harry Potter has to be somewhere here. I I hope that's a good angle there. Uh, before we move further and uh, hopefully finish all of this by tonight we have a small matter of book of the week to get through this is a great book and uh, one of the new members who joined us uh, this week uh, he also recommended the kite runner as the, his must read book for tejraj shah that's who's recommending book of this week he sent me a picture of his copy of the book so this is the Horse and His Boy by C.S. Lewis, which is the third book in the Chronicles of Narnia. So these are his, his words. Though there is not much of Narnia in this book, the adventure is great. And I get to know how the Narnians uh, behave during the peaceful time. It's funny when Shasta tried to warn the talking beast of the incoming war. But being at peace for so long, the talking beast was so slow to process that their neighboring lands were at war. Edmund and Lucy's characters were also developed much since The Lion, The Witch and The Wardrobe and they were more like king and queen. Well, overall this book is an amazing read, one of the best classics I've read, period. Wait, this is my Narnia collection, seven books. This is my copy of, my <laughs> copy, this is my copy of The Horse and His Boy. I absolutely loved this book. So to put my love for this book into context, uh, I was in my 10th grade, 10th standard, and uh, I was an avid reader back then. My mom asked me to pack up all of my books and put them into storage for the whole year because I needed to study and it, the year was very important and everything. So I was like, mom, that's fine. You can put all of those books away. Just let me keep one. She's like, okay, fine. And I kept this one. It's, it's 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 an amazing read uh if you've watched the movies they they didn't adapt this into a movie so you should definitely check this out this is the book number three the horse and his boy i've linked it down below for two weeks in a row i've like my, my picks have been this this big that's not always the case i'll be recommending this one very soon just to put it into context i don't read only these big books i read these huge books as well just saying before you start judging now uh, like I said uh, there is 
There's a matter of new members that have joined and, and they've all recommended their one must read book. Anusha Garg, uh, she recommends The Sensualist by Raskin Bond. Then we have uh, Tirth Nathwani who recommends Old Man and Old Man and the Sea by Hemingway. Uh, he says that you can find a different meaning in there every time you read it. Then we have Agnes recommends Angel of the Dark by Sidney Sheldon. Always, uh, he also recommends you to read the Kite Runner. He loved it. I've done through this section and Harry Potter 2 is not there. So that means it's either here or it's in the bottom there. I have found it! Why am I required and why are you filming this thing? Nobody touched this. American gods. And we are welcoming Pawan into this organizing group. Harry Potter and Arnie. Such a name. Yeah.